Good day to all of you. Let's proceed now to our next topic, which is the sum to infinity. Still on the air, still on the topic on geometric sequence. A while ago, we talked about the sum of the finite geometric sequence, which means it is limited to a certain amount of terms. Like, for example, sum of the first 10 terms, 15 terms, so it's limited. This time, we will be able to find the sum to infinity. What is the sum if we will solve the infinite terms? Sounds impossible, but it's actually possible. Now, our formula for the sum to infinity of geometric sequence is S. S to the infinity, this is the symbol for infinity, is equal to A sub 1, which refers to the first term of the sequence, divided by 1 minus R, or the common ratio. The formula looks very, very simple, but there are many conditions that needs to be applied to the common ratio. And here they are. Conditions for common ratio. Common ratio must not be equal to 0. Letter B the common ratio must not be greater than or equal to 1. So all common ratio, which is 1, 2, 3, and so on, any value greater than or equal to 1 is not allowed for the sum of infinity. And I will explain later on why it isn't allowed. So which means just based on the two given as of the moment, our common ratio must be between 0 to 1 except 0 and 1, which means these are the fractional values 1 fourth 1 half 3 fourth 0 0.15 and so on it is it must be between 0 and 1 for letter c not be less than or equal to negative 1 so on the left side of the number line it is also the same because if you look at the number line this is 0 this is 1 and this is negative 1. So for positive 1, this is not allowed. So which means 0 is also not allowed. So all the possible common ratio must be between them, but not 0 and 1. For the left side of the number line, you cannot also negative 1 and any value lesser than that. So we have to be, it must be between 0 and and negative, negative 1. Again, these are the fractional terms or the decimal terms. So we will be learning more about it in the, in the next example. So let's have our first example for the sum to infinity of the geometric sequence. Find the sum of this infinite geometric sequence 32, 16, 8, and 4. Again, the clue is infinite. So which means we will be using the formula for sum to infinity. Now, Again, the first step is always determine the common ratio. It's current term divided by the previous term. You cannot use 32 as your current term because it doesn't have any term before it. So which means you can use 16 as your current term divided by 32 because you have a previous term. You could also choose 8 divided by 16 or 4 divided by 8. You will still get the same value for the common ratio. So let's have 16 current term divided by the previous term. 16 over 32, so obviously it will be in fraction form. Our common ratio is 1 half. Now, now that we already have our common ratio, let's proceed and solve. A sub 1 is 32. And 1 minus 1 half. Continue. 32. 1 minus 1 half will give us 1 half. Now, we are here where we have to divide by fraction. So based on the knowledge that we know before, when it comes to dividing fraction, we have to multiply it by its reciprocal. So this will become 32 over 1 times, get the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. And then apply the law of multiplication of fraction, which is numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So our sum of infinity for the given sequence is 32 times 2, 64, over 1 times 1, which is 1, so that's 64 over 1, or still 64. So this is our final answer, which means that if you add up to infinity, the answer is 64 because 32 plus 16 will give you 48 
plus 8 will give you 56, plus 4 will give you 60, and then after that is 2 will give you 62, followed by 1 which will give you 63, and then all values that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, you are getting close and approaching 64, which is why our answer is 64. Now let's proceed to our second example. Find the sum of this infinite geometric sequence, 16, 4, 1, and 1 fourth. Again, still on the infinite geometric sequence. So step one is always to find the common ratio. So common ratio is, again, current term divided by the previous term. So I'll use 4 divided by 16. 4 and 16 can be reduced to lowest term, which is 1 fourth. So 1 fourth is, it's not greater than 1. It's not zero, and it's not less than negative one. So which means, based on the condition for common ratio, this one-fourth as common ratio is valid. So we can solve. Let's go ahead and use the formula now. First term is 16. One minus one-fourth. Next, 16. One minus one-fourth will give us three-fourths. Next, continue evaluating. Again, we are dividing again to another fraction. So we have to get the reciprocal. 16 over 1 times reciprocal of 3 fourth is 4 over 3. And then we will apply the law of multiplication of fraction. So sum of infinity. Oops. <laughs> sum of infinity is equal to. 16 times 4 gives us 64 over 1 times 3 will give us 3. So this cannot be reduced anymore to a whole number. So we can we will be accepting this answer. 64 over 3 or its decimal value which is 21.33. Either way, still correct. 64 over 3 or 21.33. Now let's proceed to our last example. For this last example, this is something that all of you will love because this is going to be very easy. Find the sum of this infinite geometric sequence, 2, 4, 8, 16. Again, first step, find the common ratio. Current term divided by the previous term. So 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. But then again, you notice that the common ratio is 2, which is what we have discussed earlier, is outside the condition. So which means if your common ratio is beyond the condition for solving the sum to infinity of the geometric sequence, which means there's no need to solve anymore because the final answer is no need to solve. Just simply answer sum does not exist. Because again, the common ratio is greater than positive 1. So sum does not exist is your final answer. But why does it not exist? Let's try solving. Let's see if it makes sense. Our common ratio is 2. A sub 1 is 2. Common ratio is 1 minus 2. So this will become 2 divided by negative 1. So our sum to infinity is negative 2. Obviously, this is a wrong answer because again, this is the sum. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 8, 14, plus 16, 30, and so on, that will not give you an answer of negative 2, which is why there's really no need to solve anymore once your common ratio is outside the given condition. Just give me automatically, sum does not exist. Okay, so that's it. That's our lesson for today for the sum to infinity of the geometric sequence. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below and I will make sure to respond to all of your questions. Right now, thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot today and have a wonderful day.